This is Democracy and the Rule of Law on Galaxy Television. Good to see you again. And of course, I have a barrister, Kingsley Chime, and a barrister, Samuel Ame, with us in the building. And of course, a virtual guest in Yobon Udo uh, talking to us from Calabar. Now, let's quickly take a look at uh, Sondibo and uh, Namdekanu. Uh, Sondi are more popularly known as Sondibo, who is engaged in terrorism financing. Uh, the Nigerian government has claimed the Attorney General Abubo Kamalami uh, told the media in Abuja Friday uh, that Igbo has made financial transactions with suspected terrorism financiers currently under investigation. The federal government recently confirmed that it is investigating some alleged terrorism sponsors. Linking Sunday Igbo to terrorism financing is the latest twist to the matter. Uh, Abubakar Kamalami said Adeyemo allegedly transferred funds to Abal Bakwen Sons and his promoter Abdullahi Umar Usman, suspect in the ongoing joint terrorist financing investigation. And on the flip side of it, the embattled leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekanu, has pleaded not guilty uh, to the seven amended charges preferred against him by the federal uh, government. Uh, Justice Bintan Yako of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja uh, fixed November 10 for continuation of hearing in the case of alleged treasonable felony instituted against Kanu. <coughs> Access was restricted to a few with journalists barred from entering the courtroom. Meanwhile, counsel to the defendant, Ifai Ejofo, insists the Nigerian government has nothing against his client, uh, maintaining the seven count amended charge as baseless. And uh, meanwhile, the Attorney General of the Federation in the media on Friday also said that Kanu at some point masterminded the NSAS protest and attacks uh, on some security operatives. Now, um, let's just merge this topic together because the kind of uh, bets oh. of, uh, uh, you know, uh, same feather uh, kind of interwoven. Uh, both of them, secessionist uh, agitators, both of them, uh, um, being charged with terrorism or financing terrorism in the, in the case of uh, uh, Sunday. We go, well, let, let's have your take on that. Yes. Because uh, uh, as it were right now, it looks like the federal government, you know, uh, is trying to grab at straws, trying to look for something that will yes. stick somehow. Yeah. With respect to Sunday Boho, for the fact that Sunday Boho is currently not uh, within the jurisdiction of Nigeria, mm. uh, and it has not been petitioned uh, yet, uh, whatever claims uh, the federal government has against him still remain within the realm of speculation. So I would allow them to do the proper thing when he is not facing any charges in Nigeria. Mm. And the one can be able to make a comment about the veracity or otherwise charges that met that might be leveled against him. Again, uh, now the canals uh, issue because the matter is currently in court, I would uh, exercise uh, some sense of restraint in delving deeply into the, the what uh, led to what and the activities and what transpired in court in order not to be found guilty of making a prejudicial statement. But I must have to say that the issue uh, confronting Nigeria with respect to Nam Bukano and uh, his counterpart, Sunday Boho, is um, a reflection of imbalance and unsatisfaction among some regions of Nigeria, mm -hmm. which I believe we must begin to seek for political solution. What you see clear out in court on, on Wednesday and we subsequently clear out any day Nam is to appear in court would really not address the, the, the issue. Uh, because uh, people have right to self-determination, uh, but the way and manner you go about it and the, 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 the agenda of government must reflect a, a, a sense of uh, purpose. Uh, I listened to the Attorney General of the of, uh, Federation uh, just uh, the day after Nambi was arranged and the new count charges, and um, I could not, uh, I was not able to, you know, reconcile all the you know cases, all the things he has alleged that Nambi Kano did with the, pen, the pending charges preferred against Nambi Kano. So it tells you that government has a different agenda from what may be 
presented before the court. Uh, and I continue to appeal to the Southeast uh, people to seek, as a matter of urgency, a uh, political solution to this issue. No matter how, no matter the argument of any lawyer or uh, each party, we cannot have a, a solution to this without having a political solution. Namde represents uh, agitation of some part of this country, which Nigerian government must be able to ask themselves honest questions on how to deal with this issue. You know, we shouldn't make this to be a tribal war. Uh, like I told someone just a, a moment ago before coming to this uh, studio, that the worst of peace still, is still better than the best of wars. Mm. We should learn from history. I'm saying this particularly to my Southeastern people to show their <coughs> soul and embrace dialogue. The political allies, the political leaders, and community leaders in those uh, parts of the country must seek a political solution to this. It has really nothing to do with the, 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 uh, the legal uh, perspective to it. And then um, what you see play out uh, is like uh, the witch will cry in the night and the child will die in the morning. So we know the root and immediate cause of these agitations and these separatist uh, agitations, both in the southwest and the southeast. And government must begin to represent, to be for and on behalf of every region of this country. Okay, but let's have a view. I mean, on Sunday, we were the latest, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, talk from the Attorney General of the Federation. Uh, terrorism financing that that seem far-fetched well um, <clears throat> the statement made by the attorney general of the federation to a large extent <coughs> is not uh, it ought not to be because in the first place those statements are speculative in nature there is no conclusion as to the allegation made before coming to air. You see, if you look at the, the case of Abba Kiara, mm. the FIB, they concluded their investigation with evidence before coming to Nigeria. And so I, I think that our leaders should learn from this procedure you don't just air out speculations without concluding evidence. Whatever evidence, whatever conclusion you are going to make on it, I expected him to at least have evidence. Now saying that a money has been uh, traced from Igbo's company account to his friend who has a connection to terrorism has he made a further investigation to to be convinced that that money was actually made to sponsor terrorism or for another business transaction and has he been able to investigate if sunday go is actually having prior communications with this terrorist organization before transferring the money what was the purpose of transferring the money to his friend who is linked to terrorism. If I give my friend money, maybe my friend asks me for money, he wants to do one or two things, or there's a business transaction between me and my friend, and I pay into his account, and my friend decides to do what he wants to do with that money, how does that concern me? It shouldn't be my business. So I think it's just speculation. And uh, one has to exercise caution in this kind of speculations because it will rather worsen the tension, mm. the regional tension. There is tension already. And this tension is, is likely to explode because instead of the government to find a solution to, 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 to ease the agitation, they keep coming with one thing or the other every day to, to rise this tension. And this is already a security threat. 
It's already a security threat because all these people now, they feel that the government is not for Nigeria, it's for the Fulanis. Mm. And so, if there is no sense of one Nigeria, sense of unity amongst the citizens, then it means instead the of... will continue to rise. It will continue to rise. Okay, l l let's uh, join the uh, Barista Udo uh, for... L let's have your say on the Igbo and uh, Namdu Kanu's uh, perspective. The two personalities actually have a right, have a right to self-determination, and I think that has been settled. Now, for now, the Kanu, the case is already before a court, and so by the sub uh, rule, we were not we are not allowed to comment on the substance of the case. However, I would say that of course every prosecution has a right to amend their charges. They can even file even a uh, forty or fifty count charges. And also, um, the defense also have a right to defend themselves. Connect with uh, Barista uh, in your bone. Okay, so um, quick, let's you know a final message. You know, as you know, as we round up, because now. Um, some persons are talking about regional ag agitations and bias. You know, some persons are saying, okay, if you're trying to point fingers at link to terrorism, we have some obvious persons, like the Gumi, for example, and people are asking, okay, if you are not arresting Namdekano and uh, Sonny Blue for this, then what about someone like uh, uh, Sheikh Gumi? Yes, what about uh, 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 this commissioner, which I don't want to mention, that has been linked to terrorism where you know, with, with, with a lot of his past messages you know, were dig up and, it, and he's serving that in works. this current ad administration. So the imbalance is the root cause. How do we balance this you know, for a unified Nigeria? That's Quickly as we wrap up. Namdekano's case is, is a politically motivated uh, action mm. that needs political solution. I chose my word carefully because I understand what is playing out in the kind of scenario and we have to be very, very careful about it. We must learn from history. Nigeria, that something years ago, Nigeria went into war and then needless war, if I must add, mm -hmm. and we cannot afford to, to have a repeat of that. A repeat of that. So uh, whether Nandi Kano, Sunday Mohe, or whoever, the, the, we must begin to look at the root cause of this agitation because be, before this present government there was nothing of such. Mm. So it is about imbalance, it is about people feeling uh, not part of the, the larger Nigeria, mm. that they must be incorporated into the society as, in, as life. Okay. So I would advise both par uh, parties and camp to be wary of their actions and seek political solutions. Now, finally, is, is, is it a matter of the government, this administration, not listening? That's why things have escalated. Because, I mean, these agitations have been there. It, uh, uh, the can issue didn't just come up today. But it seems that things escalated, you know, from 10 to 100 in just two, three years. So how do you think that can be bridged? Quickly as we round up. Well, <clears throat> the, the issue still boils down to the government. A responsible government will listen to the to the people until the government begins to listen to the people there can be no solution okay. so I will urge the government to lay down their fight to drop their 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 uh, uh, whatever grievance they have against either can or and come to the or, table and, come to and the solve table this and issue. Solve this problem. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Barista Kingsley Chimea, Samuel Ame, and of course, our virtual guest, uh, Inyobong Udo, talking to us from Calabar. My name is Solomon of M. See you again next week, Sunday, on Galaxy Television, between 1 to 2. Good afternoon.